HFB. Hello fellow Bonehead. This is Matt from Boomerang Grenade with an update with regards to people having problems with their graphics cards. Uh, the RX series of graphics cards, be it the 460, 470 or even the 480 and games crashing. So, I'd been asked by Big Pest saying that basically oh wait a minute oh my brain's gone dead i do apologize it's been a long day today and i'm just trying to get this video out anyway right so enough of the sympathy right let's go so i've been asked by uh big pest and he said great video mate however those options aren't on the latest drivers 16 12.1 so this is from an older video which was uh amd global what man this is what i did to cure crashing games on the radian rx 460 so i basically i said i'd have a look into it cheers mate this is what i i said yeah big pest i'll look into it get back to you so this is what i'm doing so cheers mate this is what he said he or she said cheers mate the latest drivers has really basic functionality and it's literally just a chart of mine i've tried everything to get this car going doing my head in now games keep crashing i've read loads of forum pages about six different lots drivers still the same right then so let's just go back to the radian setting so we'll start off in system right so i'm on radian software version 16.12.1 this is the uh, the big update that AMD did, uh, which is called Crimson Relive. Now, as you can see, I'm on a Radeon RX 460 graphics card, which has got 2 gig of RAM, which is DDR5, and it's made by PowerColor. It's the it's a kind of graphics card that has no six pin uh, power supply. It's just basically slotted into motherboard, and that's how it's powered. So. I'm on a AMD FX 6300 6 core processor. I've got 16 gig of RAM in. People say, why do you need 16 gig of RAM? Um, it was just spare RAM I had lying about and I slotted it in the computer. It's that simple. I'm on Windows 10, which is a 64 bit operating system. Now, let's have a look. Uh, if you click on hardware, that just shows you basically about your uh, your card and all the different drivers and BIOS it's running at. Software, that's basically all about your software, what what drivers you've got on your system and which is up to date and what's not up to date. So, okie dokie. Now, display. Now, in this computer, I've got two graphics cards. I've got a NVIDIA 1050 Ti on one slot and then this RX 460 in another slot. I've got them in the same system so if I'm playing a game on NVIDIA and I want to do a bit of uh, recording, uh, ca game capture, I can do it on one card. And then if I want to do it on the um, AMD card, I can just do it on the AMD card. I've got two monitors, uh, one card plugged into one monitor and one plugged into the other monitor. Now. The Radeon card, the RX 460, is running on a 19-inch monitor. It's an old monitor. Everything's done on a budget. It's only a 720p monitor, but like you say, it's only a, a low-end a low end card so you, you you know i have had games running at 1080p like down at like medium settings you've had to tinker but like you say at the minute we're just going to be running everything at 720p so this is the crimson relive or relive whatever you want to call it so at the minute i've got i've got relive on but i'm not recording the desktop I'm not recording it via desktop. I'm I'm using to record the desktop using the Xbox app because at the minute when I'm recording the microphone using this new Relive uh, Relive Relive uh, software update, the microphone sounds like uh, rah, 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 rah. instead of sounding like this. It sound it's recording it really slowly, like it's a, a half a speed or something ridiculous. So you've got recording. So you, you've got all different options to change uh, how you record, what, what what FPS you record at, the bit rate, what resolution you record at. You can, let's say, 364, 80, 720p, 1080p, 1440p, 2160p, or in-game. Uh, you've got different encoding types. 
I have no idea about an encoding type. But you've got audio bitrate. I've tried changing that to see if it has any effect on the 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 the, the, the voice recording, like like but it doesn't have, have any effect at the minute. I don't know what it is, but it's just that's what it is. So then it's got the streaming functions. You can connect to your Twitch account or YouTube, and you can set your resolutions uh, for streaming and all kind all, all the stuff like that. You can add an overlay and pretty much like that but the main things what we're doing today we're going to be doing the uh global what man so you click on gaming you well you start from home click on gaming go to global settings and then you've got global graphics if you want to start tinkering with stuff like that and then global what man so when you first click global what man it'll ask you to accept a disclaimer It'll come up with your page do you accept all this disclaimer that if you're going to start overclocking and messing about with your graphics card, if you blow it up, it's your own fault. Anyway, that's just covering their backs. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to reset it, and we'll start from scratch. So, now this should be default settings. When you accept Global Walkman and you load up, it'll go, this will be what it plays at. So, what I'm doing, right, like you say, I'm just going to, this is how I queued it. So all I did, on the left hand side you got your GPU, and you've got frequency, and all I do, I change it to dynamic. The voltage, I leave it automatic. Now then on the memory, I think this is what's having, this is what's, uh, I think this is what's uh, causing a lot of people's games to crash, right? I think it's the memory allocation, I think the frequency of the memory is what's causing the issues so all I'm doing I'm gonna stick it on to dynamic I'm gonna leave that all that's already on automatic is voltage control your fan self-explanatory it's basically how fast or how slow you want your fan to your, your fan on your card to be going do you want it to be going like uh, a, a jet engine sounding like or do you just want it steady away this card pretty much uh, like I say it's absolutely doing nothing I'm only on desktop and it's pretty much not doing anything so but like you say you can you can stick that on and then you can go right let's just go for it and you can mess about with acoustics you can just mess about with this right you can come on start going you bitch uh, it's because it's not doing anything but anyway there you go so just put that on automatic temperature automatic power limit that's well you know you can't do anything there but yeah that's on automatic right so this chill i'm not 100 percent certain what this does yet i'm gonna have to read more into it um the the one bit i did read but i, I need to i need to read a bit more on it that it basically when your card's like not doing as much as it needs to be doing, let's say you just like you you just watch, you just writing an email, or you just you just blogging on your computer, um, it basically it lowers the uh, the the power of the card, so it literally it, 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 it throttles it down. This is what I, I'm, I'm this is what I read, but I, I'm I'm not hundred percent certain. But then when you start playing a game. It basically gives it that bit more power, so obviously it keeps it warmer or cooler. That's what I've been told. Don't quote me on it. It's probably a load of bollocks. I read some. I read some blogs out, but it could be a load of bollocks. I need to read more into it. Um, but anyway, so that is what I did. Now I'm going to just click apply because I've been I've been fanning about with, with a few bits. So that's all I've done. So all I did was just a quick refresh. GPU on the left hand side. Frequency. Stick that to dynamic. Your voltage control should be already on automatic. Your memory, right? Memory, just stick that to dynamic, right? That voltage control should be already automatic. You don't need to mess about with fan unless you want it going like Air Force One. Your temperature, just put that to automatic. I think it were already on automatic. And this chill, I mean, let's just slap it on anyway and see what it does anyway. I'm not saying it does out. It says global F, 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 RK, F1. We'll, we'll see what happens. So... What I'll do, I'll try and play a game, and hopefully it doesn't turn off uh, the recording app. I'm using Xbox's inbuilt game DVR to record the desktop, because like I say, I'm trying to record um, microphone, 
with the uh, new AMD uh, Crimson Real Live desktop record feature, and my voice sounds like rah, 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 rah. So we're just going to try it done. So what I'm going to do, um, right? Well, I'll I'll just explain what I've had to do. Right? When I try and, and record using the Xbox app, when I'm on the desktop, right, and I load a game up, it doesn't switch over to the actual game. It just carries on recording your desktop. So the game I will be playing, but all you be getting here is the the audio and me talking and whatnot and the game sounds it doesn't actually show the game video so what I've done I've loaded the game up and then I've started recording it again so I'll, I'll have to splice these two videos together so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna go into options so like I said before we're uh, <coughs> we're playing on a 720p monitor well that's what it is uh, well, uh, yeah yeah well it's actually that kind of monitor but there you go so we're playing it 720p, we've just got it, it's put it to ultra, blah blah blah, we've got go on, we'll just put V-Sync on, right, so now it's, there we go, right, so, does it, does it, uh, controls, blah blah blah, doesn't actually show you what fucking cards in your system, does it, anyway, anyway. so let's just go for it, right, home, oh. right, fine match, <coughs> Not many people playing this game. They've all got over to Battlefield 1. So, squad defensive. Right, let's just go. Right, joining game. So, <clears throat> this game's just like died because uh, Battlefield 1 come along and took all the thunder. So, let's go. It'll take a minute or two to load up because, like you say, it's an old hard drive. It's only a, a SATA 2. It's not the most quickest of hard drives, like I say, compared to these solid state drives and and these hybrid solid state drives. It's just an old SATA 2 Carvia uh, Western Digital, which crunches away like. Excuse me. Right, after action report. Is that the game over with? Oh, the new match will start in 33 seconds. So you'll just have to wait 33 seconds. After action report. So I'm counting down, but oh, it's raining. But they need to add a few, a uh, bit more variety. I know World War One were all about trench warfare, but they just made to make make uh, a few maps up where you run around in town just to give it that bit more of a uh, excitement. Because it's it's just people camping in a trench with a with a, with a sniper rifle doing you, and it gets a bit repetitive when you're not very good at it. So come on, you must be loaded. Oh, there we go. Right, so it's loading up. Again, you'll have to just just bear with it while it loads its ass up. Ta-da! Right, here we go. We're just gonna have a quick run around. Right, noobs for life. Right Union Jack. Wave one.
spotted, isn't it? There you go, right, so I've just been bashed by a bot. Right then, so there you go, that's working. Following you, you Jack. Right, quick game. Do you wish to quit? Yes, so, we wish to quit. Done. Um, I do apologise, I'm having to splice these videos together because, like you say, I can't get desktop record to work properly. It's the microphones going ra 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 as I've said before. So what I'm having to do, I'm mean, having to use the Xbox Game DVR app, and I'm having to uh, keep stopping and starting recording. So I'm having to splice the videos together. So that was a little bit of a done. And what we'll do, we'll just uh, we'll go back to um, we'll just go back to Global What Man. So. Like I said, all you've, all's I've done is I've on the left hand side I've changed the GPU to dynamic, the memory to dynamic, the frequency to dynamic. I've not altered the fan, but you can have it running manually. You can set it up how you like it. The temperature I've just got on automatic, and this chill. I'm not like I said earlier. I'm not 100% certain what this does. I'll have to read into it a little bit more. Anyway, so that is um, basically. Um, come on today. Like I said, I'm tired. I've been up all day. I didn't sleep right well because I worked nights. That, but that's no excuse. Um. So this is my system. Once what what finally, like you say, it's uh, AMD six core FX, uh, sixty three hundred processor, Windows ten, and that's the software version sixteen point twelve point one. I hope this does help with people and crashing games if not please leave some feedback and we'll try and get a solution for you anyway this is matt from boomerang and grenade till next time take care and we'll see you next time cheerio for now bye bye